Well, of course, you know, Turkey is the leakiest in the emerging markets basket. It's got a confluence of factors that are ailing the economy. When you look at a widening current account deficit that's growing off of higher energy prices, of course, the Iran sanctions are a big driver of that. Rising inflation, you've got, uh, you know, a lot of banking vulnerabilities right now, especially with the U.S. Treasury having a lot of scrutiny over Turkish banks and Turkey expected to be one of the biggest violators of Iran sanctions. And so a lot of issues here that are compounding um, on top of geopolitical pressure um, that, of course, is going to make Turkey the biggest risk in that emerging markets basket. And of course, Turkey is not the only emerging markets economy that's vulnerable to a rising dollar. And with the Fed being on course mm -hmm. for another rate hike in September, that financial pressure on the lira is only going to increase. And, you know, to make matters worse, you know, we're not seeing a shift in political behavior, not that anyone should really expect it right now out of the Turkish government. Um, with Erdogan, you know, still get delivering these bombastic, very nationalistic speeches. Speeches, and his son-in-law, you know, is is trying to say the right things, but when he's sandwiched by Erdogan's comments, um, I, I don't think investors are going to get much confidence that we're going to see a much tighter fiscal and monetary policy to stabilize mm -hmm. the economy. Uh, Blunt, do you think that uh, it's now inevitable we get some kind of uh, bailout or capital controls in Turkey? Well, both have been discussed. Uh, uh, remember, what, 18 years ago, uh, 17 years ago, Turkey had to go to the IMF for a standby uh, after a financial crisis. And in fact, that crisis opened the way to the current ruling party, uh, the AKP, headed by Mr. Erdogan, to come to power. And maybe there ever since. So the, having to go back to, uh, to uh, the IMF or having to impose capital controls, which were done away with uh, uh, as part of Turkey was absorbed into the global economy, would be a major reverse for Mr. Erdogan and, uh, and he was, uh, I listened to him today, he made two speeches, and he's sounding very confident that uh, the, uh, the economic war against uh, Turkey that was being waged was one that Turkey was going to win, and everything was going to be okay. Is he ever going to allow them to raise interest rates, Blunt? Well, he's done it before, you know, uh, even though he's been uh, uh, opposed to it. Uh, during the election campaign, which he won on June 25th, he was obliged to raise it 500 points uh, because you know, people persuaded him that it had to be done because the lira was rising. But funnily enough, uh, the lira was still in the uh, four plus to the dollar range, uh, to five range. It didn't cross five mm -hmm. until August 1st when uh, President Trump imposed sanctions on two ministers. And today, with the Trump tweet, it crossed six and went all the way up to 670 before it fell yeah, to no. about six and a half. We yeah, we, we um, talked about it all day. Re Reva, why has the president, uh, President Erdogan, why has he been so uh, steadfast in refusing to cede any ground on, on whether to release uh, the American pastor, whether to cede ground on, on certain individuals, given the pain that he receives uh, in response and given his strong domestic position, now he's got the recent election behind him? Yeah, well, I, you know, I think Trump has definitely met his match when it comes to very stubborn nationalist leaders on the world stage. There was a reasonable negotiation at play over the exchange of Brunson and having some kind of easing of a fine for Hulk Bank for previous Iran sanctions. Um, you know, and that was a bargain that was in play, but, you know, those demands increase when Erdogan also demands, uh, you know, issues over Gulen extradition. Um, and we more issues to come over Iran sanctions. And so even if you have a temporary de-escalation in between the U.S. and Turkey, those relations are bound to get even more intense. Again, when we have Iran sanctions um, about to fall mm -hmm. later in the year, those energy sanctions that uh, Turkey is going to be a major violator of, um, that competition and that friction between the U.S. and Turkey is very much ingrained and is only going to deepen.